Uh, now, we're moving on to tattoos because is a tattooed tribute to your other half tacky or something to treasure? Well, Brooklyn Beckham definitely thinks the latter because he's just added his fifth permanent tribute to his fiance, Nicola Peltz. He's had a love letter from his future wife, as you can see, tattooed across the back of his neck. So, would you be flattered or horrified if you were Nicola? Where do you stand on this, Denise? Um, well, to be honest, I've been very vocal recently about how I feel that we've become a very judgmental nation. And, you know, I really do feel that. Having said that, I think it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I wondered where you were going to go with that, Denise. <laughs> and people may call me a hypocrite for that, but honestly, and I have sons who've got tattoos and I hate their tattoos, but what, what fascinates me is how Nicola has written a love letter, which I think um, starts with something, yeah, thanks, Mackie, starts with <laughs> something like, um, if you feel anxious, read this. So the sentiment is lovely, but how on earth is he going to do that without contorting himself in a, in a mirror? I don't <laughs> get it. I think it's awful. And I'm a huge fan of the Beckham. Yeah. But I hate tattoos. I hate my son's tattoos. I even hate the one Matthew's got. What do you think about when he's got your mum's name tattooed on your foot? <laughs> of all the places to have my name, I'm on his foot. What a position of anyway. love. Every step he takes, he thinks yeah. of his mum. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Move, Charlene. Um, the thing is, we're, we're tattoos. I adore tattoos. I don't have any um, myself, but I do love them. I do see them as works of art. And I've got friends who've got some apps absolutely gorgeous sleeves of tattoos and on the, on the on their bodies. Actually, um, actually, this morning you were saying you quite like a man with a sleeve. Yes, so I'm I quite... found some photos for you. Tell us which one oh, you like you most. Let's me? have a look. <laughs> OK, <laughs> go on, let's take a look. Uh, uh, what you've chosen. Oh! oh. Is, that, is that kind of is what that you that like? like <laughs> I don't know if it's... Uh, well, you know... Sw I... Swipe left? <laughs> oh, oh, see, the rock, nice. I think, is perhaps a little bit too built for me. But I love oh. because those are very... Uh, <laughs> those are cultural tattoos that he has on his, his, on his shoulder. And I very do think artistic he's as well. Hugely artistic. What's wrong with you? Which one did you fancy most, girls? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm like Charlene, I love a tattoo, I... even though I've not had any yeah. myself. But when I had my, my right mastectomy, I was like, OK, I'm thinking I want to get yeah. a tattoo there to make it like, and, and I'm still waiting to find the right tattooist to do it for me. But yeah, I might have it, my first one soon. It would be beautiful. And mm -hmm. Nadia, I know that, that, that you bought one of your girls a birthday present. Yeah, for Maddie's 18th. I've, I, I, I realised for a long time I had real prejudice towards people with tattoos. I think that awful terminology had gone in, had seeped into my brain of the tramp stamp. And I think mm. it's probably like the adults around me when I was growing up would say yeah. that sort of thing. And actually, I really had to question it because tattoos, now everybody has them, don't they? Yeah. I mean, young people. And so we bought one for Maddie's 18th. So we've well, as soon as we're out of lockdown, She'll she get can have done. whatever tattoo she likes. Such a cool present. It's such a cool present. Um,